there, it's Linda here. Thanks so much for joining me today. After I created my card using the minimal number of Copics and colouring these fabulous animals from Mama Elephant in real colours or realish, I decided today I was going to go rainbow because not everyone has a stack of colours. I counted mine and I have 80, which is probably a lot more than some people and not as many as other people so um, I find it works well for me that's plenty enough for what I do with my um, colouring so you saw all the Copics laid out at the beginning of the video I went through rainbow colours and I worked out which two colours I would use on each animal you can see the stamped image there on the right I've written down on that uh, the colors for each animal so you'll be able to refer to that I show you some of the coloring but not all of it today so you can refer to that to see what colors I did use and really I think these rainbow animals look just gorgeous it's a happy birthday card and it's bright and beautiful and I think it would put a smile on someone's face for sure so why not you know go a bit bright with your Copics don't worry about browns and greys and the colors that these animals might be in real life but go a bit crazy and have some fun make them bright and beautiful and use the colors that you've got in your stash and um, I think your card will look fabulous so my cup uh, my sorry my coloring technique is not difficult very simple just lay down the dark color first and then blend that out with the second color that I'm using. Now for the lion's mane I actually used three colors and I don't think I used three colors on any of the other animals except in the situation where I colored their muzzle a separate color. So just lay down the dark tone, blend it out with the lighter tone and go back and do that again if your blend is not looking uh, you know too smooth just keep going over it until it does so I hope you enjoy the process today watching the coloring and it might give you some ideas for how you could color up this fabulous image yourself it certainly is a beautiful image to color and it's not difficult it's pretty quick um, this one was certainly quicker than the one I did the other day which I will link to if I haven't already uh, this one came together even more quickly than that so it's fun to color of course most people find coloring as therapy so I certainly myself when it comes to my Copics anyway Prismacolors I need a bit of work there I don't really find that therapeutic so much these days need to get them out again and to practice 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 because that's what it it takes but with the Copics I'm feeling pretty good these days so I do enjoy using them now this image along with the uh, card that I made the other day where they were colored um, more realistically I really wanted to do the camouflage die cutting technique with a sentiment and I really wanted to cut that sentiment out of the group of animals towards sort of the bottom um, or, or middle of the image something like you know happy birthday or hugs or friend or, or one of the dies that I had that was going to work with my the rest of my sentiment I love the camouflage die cutting technique I never get sick of it I always think it looks fabulous and I thought of doing it the other day with the first card I made with this image but I chickened out <laughs> um, it just took me so long to color that one that I was like oh I'm not going to do that just in case something goes wrong and it just doesn't look good and then I wanted to do it again for this one today but again I chickened out I will have to because you know you get those things in your brain and um, they don't go until you do them so maybe card number three using this image I will do the camouflage die cutting technique and hopefully have something decent to show at the end of it all right so here I am with my green giraffe and it is unusual coloring these animals in rainbow colors and in colors that they just really would not be in nature it kind of messes with your brain a bit <laughs> and um, and at times I was like oh no, I can't choose that oh, oh 
oh no, that, but um, I just went ahead. I went, nope, you're up to green. The next colors you're doing are green, then you're doing blue, and then you're doing purple. And I stuck with the rainbow, and really in the end, it, it just looks so much, so bright, so much fun, and so happy for a birthday card. And that's what birthday cards should be. So I will leave you with the coloring now. I do not show you the lot, as I said, but you can always refer to the little uh, example on the right hand side there to see exactly what colors I did use and as I said you can grab what you've got in your stash the colors that you love and you can make these animals look fantastic whether you color them close to real colors or whether you make them a rainbow of colors I'll be back when the coloring is done Okay, and we are finished. I hope that made sense and you could sort of work out what colour was going where. There's just another look at the colours written down on the right hand side image there if you needed to see it again. So, I'm not finished until I've got my pink cheeks with my white gel pen dots. So I use R20 on all of the animals on this card today and it might be one, two or three dots with the gel pen but it's the same little round cheek just under or just to the side of the eyes underneath and off to the side a little bit and then I decided I was going to do some highlights with my same gel pen so I went to the tops of the animals heads and just drew a line and a dot or a couple of dots just to add some of those highlights which do look lovely and just add that something something to your image and then it's a matter of fussy cutting all the way around before I can add that to my card front now I decided that I was going to match my sentiment uh, these little speech bubbles uh, I was going to match them up to the rainbow colors that were going to be underneath them on my card so I've done that I've used a range of Catherine Pooler inks I've covered my card front with this beautiful black and white patterned paper from MFT. I'm adding the animals straight down with double sided tape and then I can just lift their little ears up for added dimension. I use some foam tape for my speech bubbles up above the colours that they coordinate with in the rainbow underneath and my card is complete. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've had as much fun as I have watching the process and I'll be back again soon.